Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ken, and today I'm here to do a review of this 1 to 400 scale Delta Airlines McDonnell Douglas MD90 from Gemini Jets. And before I get started, I have to say that this particular model is among my favorites in the collection, uh, just because of the uh, classic that the MD-90 is and also uh, you really don't see airplanes like this anymore so um, yeah these are becoming a bit more rare and a little bit more harder to find um, but anyways uh, and also this particular model happens to be one of the oldest models I have in the collection. Um, and I've had this one probably for around 10 years or so. So uh, yeah, she's getting to be up there in age. But anyways, uh, it's a very nice model. Uh, regardless so uh as always i'll just start here with the front of the box and um of course with this being a 10 year old model um the box kind of uh differs a little bit from the more modern looking ones um so yeah i mean you can see that um and also, uh, well, the rest is the same. Here's the uh, flap to kind of look uh, inside where the model is. Uh, and other than that, it's not much different. So um, here is the bottom of the box. Here is the right side. The, le the top. The left side. And then here is the back and you can pause to read all of the specs if you want and if not that's okay too and as i mentioned before this happened to be a 2013 gemini jets release so um yeah like i said she's getting up there in age but anyways uh back to the front all right so now let's get on to the star of the venue which is the model herself so let's see all right so here she is in all of her glory in her a uh, plastic cocoon all right so as always i'll get the model into position and as also, as always, I like to take my models out of their plastic cocoons with the bottom part facing up because for me it's a little bit easier to take the models out that way. So, um, yeah, let me see. And yeah, it is a little bit of a, of a journey to get the model out but uh no, it's all right all right so here she is and while i have the model in this position i'll just do a quick landing gear check just to make sure that everything's all right even though i don't i roll my models around and i don't recommend that you do that anyways but all right let's see so this one's nice and smooth. This one is also nice and smooth. And this one's nice and smooth as well. All right, so now I'll just get the model out of her plastic. Turn her right side up. And here she is. And as a, I've mentioned before this is a 
very nice model. She's gorgeous, even though she is getting a little bit up there in age. Um, Alright, so I'll just turn the model around so that you guys can get a better look at her. All right, so now just, uh, as always, start the review off at the front of the model. So, we see, uh, right, so I'll just see if I can get to focus a little bit better. Alright, so let's see, so here up at the front there is the nose cone, the cockpit windows with the eyebrow windows up top, the windshield wipers, some uh, penal tubes, sensors, and static ports, as well as the front landing gear with a number on the landing gear doors and um, I'm sorry it's too small to read but I think that's either the uh, manufacturer serial number or the line number um, could be either one uh, and right uh, behind the cockpit windows there's the L1 door with the Sky Team logo on the door itself instead of off to one side and then behind that there is the Delta logo and then the Delta titles as well as the forward most windows along the fuselage and then uh, on along the underside part of the fuselage, uh, the forward part of the underside of the fuselage. There are some more uh, sensors and static ports. Then here again there is some more windows. Um, Alright. And now let me see if I can refocus. Alright. And then moving on to the left wing, um, there are the two overwing emergency exits uh, right there on, above the left wing, as well as the uh, markings of the emergency arrows on the top part of the left wing. And then the left wing has some nice uh, molded and printed details on top of it. And then at the very tip of the wing, there is the left navigation light. And also oh, there's uh, no uh, left side runway landing light on this model. Which is alright because uh, she's still uh, nice and detailed anyways. So, alright, moving on. Uh, there is uh, the American flag right there um, above the uh, rear part of the left wing. As well as the registration. Let me see. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit more. Okay, so the registration on this particular model is N901DA 
or November 9er, 0, 1, Delta, Alpha. And then there is the L2 door right there, uh, right behind the registration. And then as well as uh, some more windows next to the left engine. And then the left engine does have some nice details on it, some nice printed details. And um, here's a look inside the left engine and you can kind of see inside the right engine as well. All right, it's Vaughn. Um, all right, so now we're here at the very rear of the model, uh, the T-tail. Um, all right, so the two horizontal stabilizers have some nice molded details on them. And the vertical stabilizer has, of course, uh, the partial delta logo as well as a number right there which could either be the manufacturer's serial number or the line number and then uh, of course the rear part the fuselage has some printed details as well and of course there's no APU here at the rear but it's uh, still nice the model is still very nice. Alright, uh, so now on to the other side, the right side. Um, here's the right horizontal stabilizer and then here is the right side of the vertical stabilizer which again has the partial delta logo and then that number again. Uh, all right, so now moving forward, here is the right engine, which has, again, the same amount of detailing as the left engine. Uh, and let me see if I can get a look inside of the right engine. Um, I don't think so, but, you know, it's all right. Um, all right, so then there are the... Uh, sets of windows along the rear part of the fuselage as well as the registration which again is N901DA or November 901 Delta Alpha. There's the American flag and then there are the two overwing exits on the right side of the fuselage. Right, let me see if I can focus a little bit. All right, so then there are the emergency arrows um, on the top part of the right wing, and then the right wing has uh, the same amount of molded and printed details as the left wing. And then, of course, all the way at the tip of the wing, let me see, there is the right navigation light. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so now let me see if I can focus again. Um, so now at the very front of the fuselage, there's the uh, forward set of windows. Uh, and then I forgot to mention the uh, middle and forward cargo doors. And then, of course, there is the rear cargo door. Um, all right, so that there's the Delta logo, the Delta titles, and then the then the R one door, 
which um, of course on all of the um, on all of the uh, details that McDonnell Douglas made um, is slightly smaller than the L1 door. Uh, all right, so now onto the very front of the model, uh, there is the Sky Team logo to the right of the R1 door. The cockpit windows with the eyebrow windows above the windshield wipers. Uh, the let me see. Okay, hold on a little bit. Uh, the nose cone, yeah, pinot tube sensors and static ports. All right, and now here is a view from above the top part of the model. Yeah, you can see the um, top part of the wings again, and then the top part of the engines and the top part of the two horizontal stabilizers all right so now I'll just move it uh, I'll just turn the model on the underside all right let me see okay I know I'm having some focus issues and I'm sorry about that. Um, right, so we, here at the very front of the model is the main landing gear, the main landing gear doors, and then some nice uh, printed details on the underside of the fuselage. And then, of course, there is the forward and middle cargo doors, as well as some uh, static ports and sensors right here on the uh, underside of the fuselage. All right, uh, there is the Gemini Jets logo, as well as the stand hole. And then uh, this particular model has the single one piece which is all right um, because most older Gemini Jets models uh, come with the single one piece all right and then of course there's the main landing gear but um, there is no uh, printed detail of the main landing gear doors which again is all right Right, so now there are uh, some nice molded details on the bottom part of the wings. Then, of course, there is, uh, if I can focus, of course, there is the rear cargo door and then some nice printed details on the bottom part of the engines and then there is uh, the printed detail for the air stairs as well as some other printed details uh, here at the rear part of the fuselage and then of course some nice molded details on the bottom part of the two horizontal stabilizers all right uh so yeah that's pretty much it for this review so uh so now i'll just uh turn the model around one final time so that you guys can uh see her uh a final time Let 
me see if I can get her to focus. Alright. Alright, so that's about it. And that about wraps it up for this review. So I hope you liked it. And as always, I hope you stay happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, uh, thank you. Have a great day and bye.